This program contains coarse language, mature themes, and the strong opinions of Dan Savage. Viewer discretion is advised. I am well aware that I will have the honor to be Wisconsin's first woman U.S. Senator. And I am well aware that I will be the first openly gay member. But I didn't run to make history. I ran to make a difference. We saw victories all across America in 2012. Over 100 openly LGBT candidates were elected to office, even in red states like West Virginia and North Dakota. Queer candidates are increasingly comfortable being open about their sexual orientations and gender identities, and Americans are increasingly comfortable voting for queer candidates. The Gay and Lesbian Victory Fund is a powerful force behind this momentum. They raise money, provide strategic advice, and endorse viable candidates. The Victory Fund also offers a one-of-a-kind training, an intensive three-day political boot camp for LGBT people interested in running for office for the first time or advancing to higher political positions. This crash course in campaign strategy addresses issues that any candidate has to confront, from fundraising to canvassing to messaging, while preparing queer candidates for the unique challenges of running as an openly LGBT person. Newly elected Pennsylvania State Rep Brian Sims went through the Victory Fund training, and he was endorsed by the Victory Fund. We asked him what the training was like, and here's what he had to say. I've been through a lot of political trainings. I've done a couple of political trainings, but I've never been through anything like this. And it really did build the core of my campaign. You know, um, in order to get the endorsement of the Victory Fund, you have to build a pretty solid campaign plan. Most people, unless they're seeking an endorsement, don't build that plan, and they just kind of go at it and, and kind of wing it. Representative Sims is Pennsylvania's first out elected legislator. And one of his first official acts after being sworn in, he introduced a tough anti-bullying bill. Veteran trainer Joe Fold had this to say about the new wave of firsts in LGBT politics. The people that I started working with in like, you know, 10, 12 years ago were truly, you know, breaking, you know, barriers. And I still do, there are still people in that room that are, you know, in their own community are still breaking those barriers. The pace of progress is remarkable, but Chuck Wolf, president of the Gay and Lesbian Victory Fund and Institute, explains that there are still challenges that many LGBT candidates face. And there are still pockets of the country where there are people who use sexual orientation as a wedge issue. They try to attack somebody based on their sexual orientation. So these trainings go the extra mile in helping people understand how to respond to those attacks. It would be great if we get to the time in this country where somebody's sexual orientation was irrelevant to, their, to the election process. LGBT politicians are uniquely positioned to advance equality. In an interview with The Advocate, Senator Tammy Baldwin said, if you're not in the room, the conversation is about you, even if you have a lot of allies there. If you're in the room, the conversation is with you, and that makes a huge and transformative difference. Just how important is it to be in the room? There are openly LGBT elected officials in every single state that has passed a law recognizing LGBT families or LGBT unions. No state without open LGBT elected officials has ever passed a law that recognized LGBT families or unions. Being in the room makes a difference. Go to victoryfund.org to learn more about their campaign trainings, candidates they are currently endorsing, and how you can get involved with their work. Send me your questions, your comments, your videos, and please make sure to subscribe to Take Part TV so you'll get all my new episodes delivered right to your inbox. The Fertility Planet Show connects people who want to have children and create families with the resources they might need to help make that possible.